Okay, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We're going to loft something into an orbit. But before we get going with that, I want to check where my orbit even is. Wait, vey. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. It shows me which way the orbit needs to be going. I am not in the right spot to do that. Let's say we fix that. That seems good right there. All right, go. Space bar might help. Okay, so now I need to be going north, I believe. Yep, I need to go north. Easy enough, I suppose. Let's slow down a bit. It's a pretty simple rocket, all considered. You're upside down, Katie? Well, oh, I'm upside down. Wacko. So this mission is going to do three things. I need to throw it into a polar orbit around Kerman, first of all. I need to haul a 48-7S engine into orbit. And then I need to have a 1.25 meter fairing into an orbit exiting Kerbin's sphere of influence. So we're going to do things one, two, three, and hopefully we can get this show on the road, get ourselves some nice cool science and money for our efforts. I don't know if I want to deploy that just yet. Now the cool thing about uh, fairings if I can select the 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 where's my solar panel? Hello, solar panel. There's a way to select that, but oh well, I'll deal with it in a bit. All right, that's off a bit. Uh, probe, orbit, Heroes Bay, yes. So orbit, 160 to 170,000. Okay. Okay, so let's satisfy the 487S contract. Let's get this thing up here some more. I want to see if I can actually pick up a charge at it. Ah, oh, darn, I had you. Blocked by arrow shielding. Well, that's just great. Yeah, that's not cool. I guess, well, I don't know if it's going to count for carrying the thing up into space. Darn, that's going to, that's kind of a pain. Well, now I can get that going. Does that count as orbit? Yes, Katie. What you poking me for? Wacko. Isn't it feeling sticky? No, it's not feeling sticky. Is it supposed to feel sticky? Hey, I got paid for the first bit. Yeah, it is. What is? My, What's? My ear. Your ear is feeling... What? What? She's strange. Yeah. Ow. 
Wacko, what are you doing? What are you poking me for? I'm trying to fly a rocket and you're distracting me. Yeah, you think that's so funny, don't you? Yeah, that's ugly. Mm. That's really ugly. What if I just do this? I get my apoapsis right here around here with the node. And then once I have that the node, I can do a 15 degree burn to put this thing into a nice the orbit that I'm supposed to. Yeah, right there. Yes. I haven't done contracts to throw stuff in orbit for a really long time, so I'm kind of like, what? how do I do this again? <laughs> minute and 48 seconds. Wow, that's a long time. Fuel status? Not a whole lot. There's my thing. So when I get to 55 seconds or so, 55 seconds will be good enough. 50 seconds, rather. There we go. There. I'd probably be... Yeah, I hit it a little late. Anyway. How much fuel am I using a second? Yeah, I got... I should have enough. I think. I was using 55 units of fuel a second. I have 144, which means if I double this and shave off some, that's how many seconds of burn time I have in the tank. Roughly. If I go a little less, then that would actually be like double that. So 136 times 2 would be how many seconds of burn time. Anyway. Alright, so it looks like I'll have enough to do this. Once I'm here, this burn a what what didn't i save you some oh you can have it go ahead i don't like it my roommate got some uh this vitamin water juice stuff and i don't like it <laughs> it's a lime coconut flavor it tastes like something you'd serve to someone on the space shuttle or something it's like bleh. not good at all A little probe that could. Yes. It'll get the job done, but that's about it. And now that we're getting closer to finishing it up, our apoapsis is going away faster and faster with us. And. And. Why did you splash the juice in your eye? It hurts. It hurts. That looks pretty close. Well then, don't do that, silly. I wish I had the ability to hold the... What is this? This is my... I can't tell. It doesn't tell me. It won't tell me the numbers. Anyway. So I'll do that burn. And then once that's matched, then I'll circularize at my leisure. Hurry up and get there. I don't have all day. Nobody has all day. Yeah, like I said, this is a cheap little contract I'm doing just because... Get out of the way. It's three of them, actually, in a row. I've done one. Okay, coming up on it, so let's... Slow down our time warp. Yeah, it's not quite perfect, but it'll get the inclination more or less correct. Okay, so now I can turn prograde and basically burn this way. This will get my orbit more or less where it's supposed to be. Well, let's stop a little bit. Go right past our inclination, or a node. And we'll straighten it out a bit and burn it again. Fuel status? Yeah, I should be able to kick this thing out interplanetary, no problem. 
I was mostly worried about the stupid orbit. But that's kind of a crazy little orbit to get thrown into. Yeah, very small rocket, because small rockets tend to have an easier time grabbing a bunch of Delta V when you throw them together. And... How's that? Not quite. Okay, what I think I need to do... I need to shift this radially in. Like... Oh, in would I have to be facing towards Kerbin. Like so. There we go. How's that? And I gotta hold it for 10 seconds and see if that's good enough for the contract. We'll see in a minute. Hey, I got paid. Alright. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, last bit. Let's get interplanetary. I have half a tank of gas. A little less than half a tank of gas. So let's go ahead and let me see, sun's that way, so if I do my burn here, I'll throw my myself trailing away from Kerbin. I should have an easier time leaving Kerbin. Oh yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that again. Orbit takes a long time. Long time to do it. I don't really have to be exact anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm even worried about it. This stinking do it. I should get some credit for doing an interplanetary trip with this too. That'll be nice. Now if I get, if this doesn't work, um, oh I need to test it. Can I test it now that I've used it? No. Oh, I did work. <laughs> yeah, I got 61,000. I got 60. Wow, 16 points. Nice. Okay. All right. So what happens when we do go enter? Actually, you know what? I got. I got a. I got a, a hunch here. I got. A, I'm going to try something. I got fuel. I don't have to stay in that enter. That um. I have an idea. What was that? Ah, oh, it's a moon encounter, that's what that is. What if I kick out my burn up? Oh no, 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 no. To do this. To do this. How much shield I got left? Oh, I can do that. It's easy. Okay. Am I facing the sun? No. <laughs> oh, I am. Okay, great. Sometimes you get crazy things like, uh, it decides, nope, you're not facing the sun right now. We're going to try to do some crazy junk with the probe because probes are expendable and if it screws up, I'm not caring about it too much. Yeah, 19 seconds of burn time. I got the fuel for that. I got almost two minutes worth of burn time.
Okay, the inclination is shrinking a bunch. Perfect. So basically, once this hits here, then I'll go straight stinking pro. Uh, I'll just fix the inclination without any sort of prograde retrograde component. Go like this. I should actually. Okay. I should actually raise my altitude some. I should probably land up the orbit a little more. So I need to burn towards Kerbin. Just shimmy the orbit a little bit. Yeah, like that. Then, I think what we'll do is we'll burn prograde now. Yes, like that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, great. Perfect. Wunderbar. All right. And I still have fuel. I might even be able to try to landing. That'd be cool. Much time acceleration. Yeah, see, Mimis is easy to get to, because once you're out here in the nether regions of Kerbin's SOI, the amount of fuel you need to do anything is really minimal. Alright, what I get for this? 29,000. A flyby of Minmus. And I'm going to get a retrograde orbit. Let's see what I can get here for a, uh, slow myself down some now. Can I close my orbit from up here? Cool. I'll be able to close my orbit. That might be a bit, bit too close. Just a bit close. So let's raise that up to, yeah, there we go. Can't quite close it, but that's all right. Okay, I'm still getting solar power, yay. Which will go away as soon as I get over here. <laughs> it's kind of a pity I'm not going to get, um... Alright, what's my charge looking like now? Okay, I'm good. I'll be fine. Yes. Give me play on my phone. You may play on my big phone. Here, let me plug it. There we go. You may play on my phone. The girls are cute. They're so sweet and nice. Right. Some science for that. I could use the science. Okay. Now, I probably don't have the ability. Let's observe the, uh, the trippy thing here. Wow. 35 science, if I transmit it, but I don't have sunlight right now, so I can't transmit it. But I can once I have sunlight exposure, like that. So how much sunlight exposure do I got? Not a lot. I think if I do this, the 390 is a about best I can get off of one panel. Or I can get 500 something. 5 something or other? Just off of that. Yeah, let's transmit that. Let's watch this to go way far away. Yeah, I'm going to run out of battery, I think. Uh, I might get it. All right. That's that. So I can leave this here. And then what I can do is have a scientist come by, reset this thing, and then send it somewhere else. Because I still have fuel. Isn't that cool? That's just awesome, isn't it? All right. Let's not revert flight. 
<laughs> that would be bad. So I actually managed to do four missions for the price of three. Uh, what I get for this? Gathered first scientific data from Minmus. Sweet. All right. And now we have about three, 300 reputation. Nice pile of money. Oh, excuse me, I burped. And I got enough points to get one piece of tech. The thing I just unlocked. Bigger radial decouplers. Adapter plates. Landing gear. A bigger shield. Sensors. A hitchhiker storage container. Some other bits. I think I'd like some science goodies. Because I don't have the points for that. This would be awesome. These would be kind of, well, kind of nifty. How do I get a bigger pod? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I did unlock the lander can, so I can do a cheapy Minmus mission for not too much. But yeah, what do we got for contracts now? VIPs want to orbit Kerbin. Kerbin? You want to orbit Kerbin. Test a heat shield and flight over Kerbin. I got Duna already. Wow. I like these explorer ones. I never got this for Moon. Oopsie doo. Oh, I got a mainsail test. Escape trajectory out of Kerbin. Really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I think I will take these missions here because they're fairly easy to do. What are my active missions? Oh yeah, moon stuff. Yeah, those would be nice to get, but uh, I think that's all we have time for today. And hopefully this doesn't get all derped up and crazy and weird with the noise gate. But if it does, I can just throw this video out and do something else because this is simply a throwaway mission. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you get to see this and all of its... Not glory, but funniness, I guess. Happy flying.